I haven't made a video in a while, so I think I'm going to start a little plugin overview series where I show you all of the neat plugins that uh, I think are really useful. So the first one I'm going to show you is SSL Native Channel Strip 2. So this plugin is really neat because it, it kind of works to do everything at once. Because it's a channel strip, right? That's what they're for, you know? <laughs> You get everything. You get a low pass filter. I don't use it, but you know, if you really wanted to cut down the highs, uh, you, know, you can do that with that high pass filter. Insanely useful. You know, I use that to get rid of the low base. That way, if I tap on my desk, it doesn't affect the uh, expander. Of course, they got an EQ in here, which is a four band five. Um, technically, if you count this little E button. <laughs> It's, I don't, I'm not sure what that is. It seems like it adds back some of the, the gain that gets taken away from EQing. And so I like to use that just as a, maybe, just in case. You know, it's got high frequencies, high mids, low mids, and then lows. And uh, it's got pretty useful in and out. So that way if you're, well, like I like to do, I like to get really quiet on my interface. And I like that this doesn't introduce any noise, these knobs. Because I've, I've used, you know, channel shows before that, like, I don't know, they, they try to introduce, like, an analog sound. It's weird. This one, now, the, the channel strip, uh, SSL has a channel strip that does that, so I'm glad this one doesn't. One thing that I really like about this plugin is how you can, uh, you can tell the, um, the order of it. So, like, right now I have my high-pass filter going before my EQ, and before my compressor and uh, expander. And what's cool about that is uh, basically what that does is it makes it put a high pass filter, right, before I hit my expander. And the, the, the importance of that is the low frequencies, like the low, low stuff, like, well, in this case, 55 hertz and below. That, um, even though that's not really like prominent in my voice at all, like my, my voice maxes out or low, I guess lowers out whatever the lowest frequency my voice will hit <laughs> pardon the infuriating looking eq um is like what 80 hertz maybe you know it's more around 90 is where my voice kind of sits that's like the lowest so anything below that is honestly pretty useless in my voice you know i like to put it at 55 honestly i could put it at the 65 whatever but 55 seems to be good to to cut out all of the low stuff that is, you know, it's not in your voice and you don't really need it. And what's cool about that is if I, um, if I turn up my gain and you listen to, to my noise now, you really don't hear much noise there. But now check this out. If I turn off the high pass filter, You can see, and you can see it on my levels there, there is much more noise introduced, and it's it's fucking with the way the expander works. So, yeah, that's a good one. Um, if you use an expander, you might want to do that. And on top of that, we get a really good expander and gate, right? I use the expander part. It's blah, blah, blah. I like, I like this one because out of all of the expanders I've used in plugins, this one's kind of feels the most natural, you know, I don't know. It's got a really nice set attack and set release that I just like it, you know. It sounds really good. It works really well. It's, I mean, it looks, it works as good as hardware expanders, you know. I like it a lot. And on top of that, you get a really nice compressor that uh, can act as a limiter as well. Almost like a two-way or whatever, but it's... Uh, I don't know. It's, it does a good job at uh, raising the quiet stuff without, you know, introducing noise, you know, especially paired with the expander, as well as just sounding good. You know, it doesn't have that super overcompressed um, radio sound that, uh, you know, I don't, you know, it's obviously you can get that if you really crank it, but, um, you know, I don't seem to, to ha have that issue, at least not right now. Uh, you know, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, aside from that, 
you know, you obviously get your, your phase reverse deal and your side chain. You can side chain it really easily, you know, all, all in all. And if you get the, the other plugins, I'm pretty sure you can actually put their plugins in this, right? And almost use it like a mixer of some sort. I haven't really uh, haven't tried that yet. But all in all, this is a very powerful plugin that I can imagine you can pretty much do anything with. So you guys should check it out.